Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share this with you guys. So I whipped this up. I've been doing a lot with the mini lathe lately, and one of the things I decided I needed is a carriage stop. So what I did is I wanted one quickly. I whipped it up and designed it uh, kind of in a combination of OpenSCAD, etc., and 3D printed it. Now, it came out actually pretty good. I'll be doing some... Um, overlays of it on the machine but I really want to talk to you guys about the design of this and, and kind of share a little bit more on the design itself so what I did is I based this around quarter 20 uh, bolts so you can see I got different sizes here and you get different sizes uh, depending on where you want the care stop uh, also what I did is I designed these extended end pieces now these are actually quarter 20 threaded so they screw on to the quarter 20 so here's a shorter one and this actually screws in. It has threads inside there. Pretty cool, huh? So it threads on there. And then what I'm doing is I'm using my magic nut design in OpenSCAD for the cincher right here as well as the bottom piece. Now, one of the pieces, if you need some extra holding on it, what I found comes in handy is I take a piece of sandpaper and I cut off a little square that fits in here. And then basically what happens, it'll form around this piece when it clamps down and this, this sucker will stay pretty solid. Um, I printed these in PLA. PLA seems to work just fine. I would not do ABS. Uh, ABS flat flexes too much. Um, PLA is pretty rigid. So I found this actually works pretty well. Um, the other thing is I definitely suggest kind of cleaning the oil off the rails. What I did is I modeled this section. So for my uh, Harbor Freight mini lathe, so this clips on there and this clips underneath and so you could put a piece of sandpaper down here too as well as up here if it doesn't hold now i've gotten pretty good luck with these just holding the way they are now again because it's geared you can slam into it pretty hard and it will move but with the sandpaper it's pretty solid um the other thing i want to mention is the nut design in here i use basically a mach what i refer to as a machine nut. i'm not sure what the formal name of it is uh it's a little bit um thinner of a nut it usually comes with uh, a bolt uh, you know uh, kind of like a screw head bolt rather than a hex head bolt because those are typically a little bit wider and so uh, this fits pretty well with uh, about four four point six millimeters wide and these are a skosh wider being about five point four for a standard quarter twenty bolt I don't know that I, that I found now if you want you could stretch this a little bit in the um, uh, slicer it will make this a little bit oblong but it, sh it still should work if you you know if you can't find these or what have you uh, or you could just take it into Tinkercad and difference it out now the other piece that I did in the bottom design is kind of unique too and I wanted to share that with you guys is I put these fingers or slots in here because the idea is when this comes on if you don't have this if it's just flat it's going to want to turn so what happens is this catches in here like this like you see and it keeps this straight so it pulls the force uniform now I really haven't had a problem with this you could uh, also maybe uh, if you want place a washer on the bottom I haven't had a need but it might cinch a little bit better if I take this washer, see how much area this covers, and this cover is actually passed. Um, so you could probably put a little bit more pressure on. I haven't had a need to, but you could go something like that if you wanted. So anyhow, I thought this was a neat design. Oh, I wanted to talk a bit about the difference between the two of them. I almost forgot. So this one I designed very simplistic, just a quarter twenty, and then what I use is this bolt to lock, lock it in place to keep it from turning. Whereas this one, I actually have a couple spring cups and I've got a spring that actually holds tension and locks it into place. Where did I get the spring? One of these spring kits. I tell you, I tell you guys, this is another tip. Get yourself, and I'll have the link below. I got it off of Amazon. This spring kit. I mean, got one of every spring in it and it's really handy to have, uh, you know, for maker space. So that's where you got the spring from. And you can just mess around and you can really set it to how much tension you want, how much throw you want, distance. And again, you can get different size quarter 20 bolts to kind of have whatever offset that you want to have in this. So, uh, yeah, I haven't pulled this one down actually just yet. But what happens is you just move these guys around and then, uh, 
and we turn this one and then you just you can kind of cinch it down with this and see it'll pull right down inside there so i made it a little bit tight i mean all the tolerance is a little bit tight one of the things i i did do is i did take my step drill to kind of clean out all this and here's another tip i put my step drill in my little hand power driver makes it a little bit easier and instead of getting real crazy with a big power drill such as like my dewalt here you know this thing just kind of you know choose through it this gives me you know a bit more control so another little tip there that you guys got but i've been having a lot of fun with the mini lathe and again these have been super handy uh to use on there now predominantly i use this one but you know for those that maybe have a hard time sourcing springs or want something simpler this guy is super easy to make and kind of keep in mind that you can you know uh you know maybe you come up short on bolts just whip yourself up a longer one of those these you can take um, even the base one into like Tinkercad, just take a cylinder, add a cylinder to it and make it whatever distance you want and that's your stop. Because again, this is going to um, kind of dictate where it gets placed because remember, you're going to have this space back to your, your uh, you know, uh, switch or control housing. So you, you might not have a ton of room. Again, it depends upon your part. So that's why I wanted to do this piece with this design where I could put different links on the end that weren't part of the bowl. So hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you got some good tips. I'll have this out on Thingiverse. You can download it, uh, use it for free, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Also, follow me on Thingiverse, please. I've got nearly uh, 200 designs out there. I'm throwing designs out there on a regular basis. Uh, shooting for 200 pretty soon so could really use your support out there and don't forget swag shop up in the corner subscribe will be over there hit that bell put those uh, parentheses around it so you get notified when i put out new content like this and we'll see you guys in the next video where we do something else on the mini lathe cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our